MMAweekly.com. Damon Martin here with Mark Bocek back in uh, Toronto, Canada. Mark, uh, you know, you had your last fight at home as well. Didn't go your way, but it was such a close fight. I mean, what did you what did you learn from that fight that you carry forward to this one? All that stuff. I overtrained a little for that fight. Left a little bit of myself in the gym. Didn't drill enough. My cardio is better now. I'm stronger. Uh, I'll be ready to be ready to peak on Saturday night. I feel like I'm a better version of myself. You've had a couple really close fights with the guys at the very top of that division, Jim Miller and Benson Henderson. Um, you know, not to say anything was bad, but, but what do you feel like you need to either tweak or change or, or just to kind of get over that hump, you know what I mean? I thought I beat Miller. I clearly lost to Henderson. Um, I felt like my learning curve was getting a little flat. I switched, switched things up, did my whole camp in Montreal to try to start. Got a new look on things. And, uh, I feel periodized and tapered nicely. Uh, I feel ready to peak on Saturday. You mentioned TriStar. I know you've done a lot of training over the years with the American Top Team. Uh, was there was there a certain mindset of making the switch, or was it something you've always just kind of split between the two? No, it was just it was just things things can get a little stale and monotonous, and you need to decentralize training. And now you need to go with everyone in the American Top Team. Uh, yeah, those guys are awesome. But, you know, sometimes things don't work out for you, and I'm the one that gets locked in the cage. So uh, I really like the fit of TriStar. What you know, obviously TriStar, not to you know any shock why you work with Faraz Zahabi and GSP and everything, but a lot of people have been going there. Rory McDonald, yourself, a lot of people. What's the what's the biggest things that you're able to pick up there? Is it the sparring? Is it the coaching? What is it? Coaching, drilling. For us, is a really he's an, intuitive, he's an intuitive coach. You know, uh, he can give an unobjective look to MMA because he's, he's very good in every area. He listens to your body. He'll take your body accordingly. He'll put you in. He'll put you in wars, and then he'll put you in grounds where you meet people up. So you actually go through the motions and you don't get lost when you get in the positions to fight. More um, Ronaldo can also be very decentralized there because you have four different gyms that you train at. One of the Canadian contingent will be competing. Talking about this fight, Mark, you got Nick Lentz this time. Uh, you know, you faced wrestlers before, but if you look at Nick Lentz's style, he likes to grind guys out. I mean, it, call it a you know, call it boring, call it whatever you want to. But the fact is, he does have that style. How do you combat that? Because I know in your mind, you know, you can submit anybody. You fought all kinds of fighters, but is that a difficult style to deal with? It's very tough. It doesn't have that many holes, but he's good at bringing people into his game, and he likes the fence. You were flapping the ghost. But in order to impose his will on me, he has to wrestle me. And I don't believe he can wrestle me. So. You've, uh, you, you know, you've fought a lot of high-level wrestlers in your what past. Did he say? Um, what did he do? Is there anything that Nick Lentz can do that you haven't already seen? Absolutely not. He's very, he's very tough. Uh, but I'm, I'm as prepared as I've ever been. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to peak on Saturday. Is this a statement fight for you, Mark, to go out there and, and you know you not only be in Toronto and Canada in your home country, but also you know because you have had those couple close, really close fights in the past to really go out there and make a statement in this fight? Yeah, this is a fight that's going to show you know I'm, I'm, I'm still here and I'm, I'm still in the mix. You know? changes, Anyone can have a bad fight, uh, but uh, with the management uh, and I'm still here. And, and Thanks very much, Mark. You were a